Dan Gallo. I'm a real estate or uh, a mortgage banker with U.S. Bank. One thing worse than a real estate agent right now is a mortgage banker, okay? <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great. You know, I mean, that, that, I'm not complaining. Um, I wanted to comment with Charles. I'm from Iowa, just moved here in December. And in Iowa, where I'm from in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, a lot of the real estate agents are going to where they're uh, uh, an S corporation. Um, a lot of them don't do it just because of the cost of, of, of doing that. Right. A lot of them are. Well, my question for you is... Well, tell me how many talk about that. So yeah. obviously it's not a federal IRS regulation. No. Okay, that, 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 no, that not, not that I'm aware of. Okay, not that, that, that's what I'm going to say. So it is something in the state level that keeps us from doing yeah. that. So, okay, you solved number one problem right there. Now go ahead. My, my question to you is, um, again, I'm fairly new to the state. Why is it so difficult for the state to pass a law that basically says for you to vote, you have to have a driver's or picture ID to show that's you? Who passed it? What's okay, that? so okay, so that's passed here. Okay, passed okay, okay, good. I need to I'm going to tell you what. Because well, I come from Iowa, and Iowa that, that, doesn't let anybody just vote. I've never seen anything like this, the, 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 the uproar that is coming. What, why, is that, coming. why is that though? I actually said to the press about an hour and a half ago when they were asking me about this, you know, 90% of the people in the state, and I said, I'm not exaggerating, 90% of the people in this in this state agree with this. You have to have a photo ID to get on the airplane, to buy a beer, to buy a pack of cigarettes, to cast a check. Why shouldn't you have to have one to vote? And they have gone absolutely berserk from the Democrat leadership and the press. I said, the only people that care that think it's a bad idea is about five people in Democrat leadership and the press. So, so from now on, get ready for this, folks. When you go vote next time, you better have your photo ID with you. And we even put that went so far as to allow you, if you don't have one, to get a free one for the DMV. That's another whole problem, standing in line with DMV, I guess. <laughs> but the bottom line is, you, if you don't have one, because the one thing I discovered through this whole process, and we didn't know this, we've done some research on it lately, if you're a senior citizen, you don't, you're not required to have a, photo, a picture on your photo ID. I didn't even know that. So what, what's, what was the, the policy, the reason we did that, we, we kind of traced it back to, for those of us who are lifelong Tennesseans, remember when you didn't used to have a photo, didn't have a photo on your driver's license. I think 1988 we figured out is when the law went into effect, and when you first got the plastic card you carried in your back pocket that's got your picture on it. And for some reason, some amendment got attached to the bill that exempted senior citizens. Well, what's the policy reason for that? So that needs to be changed too. But the bottom line, it is a rambling right. answer to answer your question is. Next time when you vote, you better have a photo ID. Okay. It's required by law.